Envis Technologies presents Envis 6103 E by N by Thomson Method Hello everyone in this video I am going to introduce Envis 6103 E by N by Thomson Method This setup is used to find the specific charge ratio of electron It is provided with a power supply a mounting stand for cathode ray tube and a deflection magnetometer as you can see in the figure envis 6103 consists of a highly evacuated glass tube fitted with electrodes electrons are made to accelerate and form a beam passing through the plates after going through electric and magnetic field these electrons strike on a zinc sulfide screen so when a narrow beam of charged particles is projected at a constant speed along a direction perpendicular to the field the beam of particles experiences a force which causes them to move in a circular path now let me tell you some of the unique features of envis 6103 it is a microcontroller based instrument which is provided with a lcd display for displaying the deflection voltage along with intensity adjustment and focus a pair of bar magnets is also provided along with the deflection magnetometer the various technical specifications of envis 6103 are crt connection with power supply octal socket deflection voltage variable 0 to 55 volts deflection magnetometer 0 to 90 degree following are the precautions and sources of error of the e by m experiment the cathode ray tube should be handled carefully there should not be any other disturbing magnetic fields near the apparatus axis of magnets and axis of tube should lie perpendicular to each other in same horizontal plane when direction of spot is reversed the direction of magnets should also be reversed the spot on the screen should remain at a given position on the screen for a long time now let us see how to set up and install envis 6103 using compass needle find and note north south and east west directions place crt in between stand in such a way that the screen of crt is faced towards north and both arms of stand point to east west direction adjust the intensity and focus potentiometer in its mid position connect the crt to octal socket of instrument keep instrument to south direction far from crt The cathode ray tube should be accurately placed with its longitudinal axis in the magnetic meridian. Polarity selector switch should be at zero position. Set the deflection voltage potentiometer at anti-clockwise direction. Now let us look at the demonstration of finding the E by M specific charge of electron by Thomson method. using envis 6103 switch on the power supply and wait for some time approximately 1 to 2 minutes to warm up the crt a bright spot appears on the screen adjust intensity and focus controls to obtain sharp spot bring the spot at the middle position of crt with the help of x plate deflection which is given at the back side of the instrument set polarity selector to plus position and adjust deflection voltage to deflect the spot 1 cm away towards upward note the deflection voltage as v1 now place the bar magnets on the stand arm to both sides of crt such that their opposite poles face each other adjust position of magnets to get spot back downward to original position note the distances of bar magnet 
as R1 and R2 from the scale. Now remove magnets from the arms of stand. Select minus position from polarity switch. Apply DC voltage to deflect the spot 1 cm away in downward direction. Note deflection voltage as V2 and deflection as Y. Place bar magnets again and adjust the position of magnets to bring spot back to original position. Now, note the distance of the magnets as R3 and R4. Remove magnets. And cathode ray tube. Place magnetometer arrangement in between stand such that its center lies on the center of the stand arm. Take care that the position of stand should not be disturbed. Rotate magnetometer and adjust the needle to read 00 degree. Now, place magnets at a distance equal to R1 and R2 as previous polarity adjusted. The pointer deflects along the scale. Note the deflections as theta1 and theta2. Similarly, repeat for R3 and R4 distances. Note the deflection of compass needle as theta3 and theta4. Now, by using the values of theta1, theta2, theta3 and theta4, we can calculate the values of magnetic field as follows. By substituting the value of magnetic field, we can calculate the E by M ratio using the following formula. The concept of E by M is most widely used in electron optics and ion optics. It appears in the scientific fields of electron microscopy, accelerator physics, nuclear physics, auger electron spectroscopy, cosmology and mass spectrometry. Thank you for watching this video. For more details, you can call us, email us or visit our website. Also, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for more updates.